our next award uh, is the legendary award. And to present that award from the movie The Notorious and Bad Dad Rehab. Show some love, Mr. Dennis White. Dennis! Yeah. When I say to, you say sweet to, to. When I say to, you say sweet to, to. What's up, sir? How you doing? So before there was a Robert Townsend, a Spike Lee, a Tyler Perry, a Will Packer, there was a Leon Isaac Kennedy. He, give it up. He is the perfect example of will, determination, and faith. He grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. It was rough, and all his friends were even selling drugs or taking drugs. But he told them, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to be on TV, and I'm going to be in film. And they were like, whatever. That was at 15. When he turned 19, he had his own TV show. Then he went to be a DJ on the radio. They called him Leon the Lover, right? Gladys Knight, Smokey Robinson, all were his fans and friends. Well, just like LeBron James, he took his talents to Hollywood. Any Laker fans out here? <laughs> well, he hit the ground running. He had a reoccurring role on Chips. He was the youngest writer on KNBC. Then at 25, he was like, you know what? I want to write and produce my own films. That's what he did. But it wasn't just any film. It was the cult classic penitentiary. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. Now, that just wasn't any film. It was a great film. It was hard, rough, and gritty. It was right after the black sportation films and people loved the rawness of it. And he became a box office star. Then he did Body and Soul, starred, wrote and starred in that, Penitentiary 2, Penitentiary 3. Just imagine, he did, he had $500,000 investment and garnered $80 million in the box office. Penitentiary was the number one independent film that year. Not the number one independent black film, the number one independent film in the world that year. So he went to cons, the first minority to go to cons all over the world and get investments and distrib distribution for his projects. He was inducted, inducted in the Entrepreneur Hall of Fame. Give it up for that. So. He became a big, huge star, sex symbol, box office star, uh, was doing movies with Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, and then he was at the top of his game and he left. He went to ministry, started saving souls, helping less fortunate people, and still being on top. So without further ado, the man, the myth, the legend, Leon Isaac Kennedy. Well, first of all, I want to thank our Heavenly Father because every good and perfect gift comes from above and is given by the Father of Lights. Let's praise Him. <laughs> Where is Lynn Gibson? I want to give all of us, we want to give Lynn some love. This is the 13th year. Lynn, come up here, would you please? <laughs> Lynn and I talk on the phone all the time. is doing to bring all this creative talent together is amazing. Come on, Lynn. Let's give Lynn some love. Congratulations to you and on what you're doing. Yeah? No, I appreciate it. I can't do it without my partner, JB. Where is he? Where is he? He's handling something. 
But anyway, not only JB, but the entire, the entire staff. I mean, let's give my entire staff a Absolutely. round of applause. That was going to be the next thing I was going to say is the entire staff. They work so hard. They're so gracious. And uh, let's give the entire staff some love, please. I'm not going to take up a lot of time, but I want to thank a couple family members. I want to thank my other half, Maureen. She had to stay in Los Angeles, but she's here in spirit giving all of you some love. I want to say hello to my cousin who came out. My cousin, Yvonne Isaac, and her husband, Harold. Yvonne is my best friend since I was on this earth. Yvonne, would you stand up? Come on, just stand up for a minute. <laughs> and all my other family and friends that came out, I wanna, I wanna thank you. Lynn, Legend Award. Hmm. I've been called a legend, but no one has ever given me an award saying that I was a legend. So, Lynn, thank you very much. And I want to say to all of you that this, this award is dedicated to all of you, all of you that dare to dream. Give yourselves a real big hand. All of you that dare to dream. I want to just share some things about not, not ever letting people Stamp out your dreams. Don't take no. All of my life, every single thing I tried to do, from my first TV show to my first film to whatever, I was not only told no, I was told that's impossible. So I had to learn to take a no and impossible and turn it into inevitable. In other words, make it truly happen. I guess I'm best known for penitentiary being called Too Sweet. But when we did that film, it was after the so-called black exploitation era was over. So they weren't doing any black films at all. So when we were doing that film, and we had hardly no money, we were thrown off locations and so on and so forth because we didn't even have enough money really for the permits. We would do drive-by shoots, you know, run in, get the shot real quick and leave, <laughs> you know. And get mad at an act actor or actress if you blew a line. We didn't have time for two or three takes. But at any rate, people said to me, Leon, why are you doing the film? Nobody's going to come and see it. They don't do black films anymore. I said, I'm doing it to prove that I'm a leading, uh, a, a leading man. Jamal's doing it to prove that he can direct a major motion picture. So we finished the film, and we kept encouraging ourselves. That's another thing I want to instill in you. Other people would tell you no. But sometimes you've got to encourage yourself. Sometimes you've got to talk to yourself. You've got to walk around and mutter from your spirit and say, I know I can do this. I don't care what they say. I know I can do this. And so that's what I would do. We had 16-hour days every day. But during the uh, lunch break, I would go out, eat lunch by myself, and I would see on the marquee Leon Isaac Kennedy Penitentiary. And in my spirit, I would see long, long lines all the way around the block. And that's what kept me going. So the film came out, and nobody wanted it. Every exhibitor turned it down. And I told Jamal, I said, well, there's one guy. He needs a hit right now. Now, he was a notorious thief, but nevertheless, he needed a hit. So I said, if we can just put the handcuffs on him so he doesn't steal all the money, I think he'll do it. So we put the handcuffs on and we made a deal, but he had no money even to go out and market the film. So once again, not believing in no and not taking no as any answer, I paid my own way, put up all the money myself to market the film, went to Detroit, booked myself on radio shows, booked myself on television shows, and promoted the film. And when that film came out that weekend, what I had seen before, when everybody was saying no, 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 when I came out that weekend, there was that line all the way around the block. Come on, I said there was a line all the way around the block. And then we had the last laugh because that little film that nobody wanted went on to break box office records all across the country and became the number one independent film of the year. So don't ever let anybody tell you 
No. This film, this award, is dedicated to all of you. You dreamers, yes, you can. God bless you.